Christopher Mosby here, and I'm back with another great review of a great product. I like to pride myself in my reviews being straight to the point. We're not going to do any lab tests or any specs or any uh, statistics or stuff like that. We're going to do real life situations and real durability tests to let you know if this is a product that is worth the money at that price point and something that's worth putting into your collection and investing into. Today here we have the Phantom DJI 3 Standard. Now I went with the Standard model because I really don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a professional model when this is my first drone. Without any further ado, let's dive right into our first point, which is the price. The price of this product is $4.99. So let's talk about if this product is worth $4.99. In my opinion, it is. Everything you purchase for your business is an investment. You can easily make your money back off this product in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, once you learn how to use it and start getting your advertisements out there so people will know you have the capability to get this type of footage. So that way you can raise your prices on everything that you do because you now have the capability to use a drone to get aerial shots. Is it worth the $4.99? Yes, you can make millions using this product. It's all about how you market it and how you sell it. We're gonna go over what all comes in this box and we may get some test footage if I'm able to go out and fly it tonight. It's already kinda late. But if I get to, we'll go out and get some test footage so I can show you how this thing flies. Now, let me first give you a disclaimer that this product is not a toy. I don't, I didn't really realize how powerful this drone is. This is not a toy and I didn't understand until I turned it on and I heard the propellers move and I looked at it and I saw how fast it was going and how powerful the motor was, this thing would tear your face off. You need to make sure you're in an open area. Do not fly it indoors, especially not starting out. You will tear your house apart. Now listen to me. This is not a toy. I know a lot of people have seen these things or maybe even been in the vicinity of them, but until you handle it, it's not a toy. It's something that will really get somebody hurt if you don't know how to use it. So that's just a disclaimer that this is not something that you want to buy for a child to play with or something like that. The propellers move very fast. They're very sturdy and very durable. It, you do have the ability to cause harm with it. So be careful and read the instructions before you operate it. Now we're gonna open this box up and see what all we have inside the box and assemble the product and let you get a good look at everything that comes with this drone when you purchase it. Again, this is the DJI Phantom 3 Standard and we're gonna start our unboxing. Now the quality of this box is very nice. It comes with the handle on the top and it feels kinda like very simple to, very similar to an Apple product. That's just how the casing in the box feels. Very, very similar to an Apple product. It's very, very high quality. I really appreciate the packaging, especially since I don't have a case for this yet. It's very nice for it to be presented in such a nice box, in such a nice case. We're gonna go ahead and get these, this tape off of here, get this unboxing started. It, the first item we see is the instruction manual. Make sure you read the instruction manual. Major key. Promise you. Read the instruction manual. For now, we're going to skip that and put that to the side. Okay. We have our drone itself here. Self-explanatory. We're going to pull this out. 
put it to the side, but as you can see, very high quality product, very nice. I will say that removing this cap from this lens is very dangerous because I almost broke this little gimbal and the camera the first time I got it because it's very hard to remove this lens from it. Just a precaution just to let you know that it's very hard to do that. Um, also inside the box you have this casing that has your propellers in it. It's going to have eight propellers in here. The propellers are coordinated between gray and black to let you know which one goes on which side on the drone because they are um, applied directionally because they spin in different directions. Um, this box here is going to have your charger in it for the drone. It's your two-piece charger. One goes in the wall and one goes into a block. We're going to open it later. And this is your accessories pack. It has the propeller remover in it, and that's about it. And here we have your most important piece other than the drone, the controller. Very, very, very important that we learn how to use this controller. It's very easy to use and very, it feels very good in your hand. It's like the perfect size and it's a good quality build. I, I'm really impressed by DJI for this product. This is my first drone and I'm, I'm very impressed and it will not be my last one. Now the thing that impressed me the most about this drone was the quality of the camera. When you go back and look at your footage, um, at the filming with this thing, it's 2.7K quality. Uh, another reason why I didn't get the professional model is I don't need 4K. People always brag about having 4K quality, but I mean, unless you watch it on a 4K TV, what's really the point or a 4K monitor? 90% of people, don't quote me on this because I'm not a stats guy, but most people are watching this on their cell phone. So you're really wasting your time getting that quality. As long as your 1080p looks good, I think you're okay. That's just my opinion. But yeah, the quality of this camera is very, very good. Now you can take 12 megapixel pictures with this and you can uh, of course do recording through the app. You're going to have to download the DJI Go app for this. It's very easy to use. You just clamp your iPad or your phone to the controller and um, you synchronize the two and you can go to work. Now let's turn the drone around to the back. We have the battery. Very important. Now I checked on these batteries. These batteries are about $150, $140, somewhere in there. Very expensive. But I think you'll need a couple batteries if you're gonna do an event because they only last about 20 minutes. You get about 20 to 22 minutes of flight time and it's true to that. That's all you get is about 20 minutes. So you need another battery or two. Um, Another thing you need is a case. Um, you obviously don't want to walk into an event with this in your hand or in the box it came in. So just for um, professionalism, you want to go ahead and get you a case, which um, from what I can see run between 60 and $100. Um, I just purchased the drone, so I haven't invested in the case yet. I try to space out my purchases and not spend too much money at one time, which is easy in this profession. So I should be able to get me a case here very shortly, but in the meantime, let's see if I can get you guys some test footage so you can see really how good this thing flies because all this talking is nice but until you see the quality of this product you won't understand the value of it 
it's well worth the money. I'm very happy that I decided to make this purchase.